Hi, it's Dave again with uh, Sailing Cavu. Got another project today for the boat. Uh, for those of you who've been following us, you know that we've got a Genoa 440 uh, 2021. Bought it brand new. We ordered it and we are in the process of outfitting it. So there are many little projects that we're doing to upgrade the boat's capability and uh, help us as we uh, transition to boat life. Today's project is yacht devices, interface. It's going to be an interface for the uh, Yamar engine to talk to the Ray Marine system. Alright, so let's start with uh, what's in the box. Now I guess we can start with how do we open the box. Ah, there we go. Slides off. Looks like we have a wiring harness. Uh, that looks like a relay plug. And the instructions. Also had to buy a, another wiring harness that will fit our uh, Yamar engine and plug it into this. So let's look and see what we've got here. We've got the wiring harness that's actually going to wire to the Yamar engine and this is going to output in NMEA 2000 display uh, which is will be picked up by our um, Ray Marine Smart Talk system, and we will pipe that around the boat to all the MFDs. In addition, I had to add this cable. Uh, the cable here is uh, just an interface cable. Uh, they've got kind of a generic cable, but when I looked at the plugs, uh, this is the plug that's on the MR, and uh, then we need to also tie it into. The Ray Marine system, so we're going to use uh, some cable and a T junction. All right, turns out this install wasn't that bad. Um, show you what I got. All right, so I'm in the aft cabin here. We've got an, an access port to the engine. Uh, this would be where the ECU is, the brains. This was where the lead was coming off, going to uh, the display up in the cockpit. And what I did was I just wired it in. Uh, there was an adapter that went here. That wires in to the um, yacht devices. And wires going up. There. So there's the plug and the outlet filler that we didn't use because we used the other um, adapter. And then I just have the wire running up, runs up here to the junction, and then it runs along the back side down here. And I've got it going into one of the Sea Talk buses here. So let's fire it up and see what it does. All right, so with the engine running, you can see the LED there is flashing green. It's getting a good signal from the engine, and it's also talking to the CTOP network. All right, here you can see the display downstairs. We've got uh, engine oil pressure, coolant temperature, and RPMs. That's You can choose different things, but that's what I choose. So up here in the cockpit, I've got, again, I've got my volts. Uh, that's my depth, RPMs oil pressure and uh, my engine temperature. It's the same information that's available here. Now, 
also have a multifunction page here. So after messing around with it for a little while, this is what I ended up doing. Uh, the I-70S on the left side is set up for the engine instruments. Uh, it's actually got multiple pages. So this is just one page on the MFD. And so I've got it set up with uh, the engine RPMs. I've got oil pressure and coolant on the right. Uh, I've got the uh, alternator output and then I've got also my uh, engine hours. I have two of these I-70S's. They're both set up identical. One's up here on the pedestal that you see. There's another one down at the nav station. Total cost on this project is just a little under $300 and it's a plug and play project so it made it really uh, easy to do. Uh, the chart plotters have uh, the same information, but it's displayed a little bit more graphically than just a uh, digital output. And again, I kind of uh, rearranged a few things on there after I had a little bit of time. To me, it, this makes uh, perfect sense because I can monitor trends on my engine as we uh, motor around. And uh, on a long crossing, that's going to be important. Uh, if you know what's normal, you know it's going to be abnormal and you can uh, start tracing down the problem before uh, you know you hit a limit that's that's what i'm aiming for and that's why i did this project anyway tune in next week and you will see a much larger more detailed project as i add two fridge freezers to the boat